join me as I create these super cute trays for a client. We're making eight of these and I'm going to try and keep all of them looking different. So let's get pouring. So this mold is from Amazon. I will link it uh, in the description and it is a candy shaped mold and super cute. And the first way I'm doing this is I have um, mixed up my resin, my J Addiction Officials resin, and I'm putting down some crushed gold chips, glass. Um, I, I don't think it's glass, but it's those heavier metallic bits. Um, and I'm putting these into the corners of this mold and I'm gonna use a few drops of some alcohol inks and I'm going for sort of oranges and yellows in this one. Um, so that's a couple of drops of orange, a little spritz of yellow and another shade of orange right there. And I lay down a tiny bit of resin before I put the alcohol in, um, just so then I don't get any staining on my mold. And then I'm going to start to fill up my mold with some clear resin. Um, so as you can see, my alcohol has gone to the edges. So now I'm adding a bit more. Um, again, no right or wrong. I'm just playing with this. And I love to do this because um, all of these alcohol inks, they form these really subtle feathery effects in the mold. And I, I quite like that look. Um, so once again, I'm just filling up with clear resin and I'm going to finish off with a few more drops of alcohol. And that's me just making sure that my resin has reached the corners because this tray has um, really thin corners. So I'm just making sure there's no trapped bubbles um, in the corners and that the resin has reached. That was a little tiny bit of hair apparently that I got in there. Um, that I just picked out a um, tiny bit more alcohol and we're just gonna fill it up and leave it to cure. One thing I did forget to mention that before every pour um, that I'm doing in this mold I am spraying some alcohol onto the mold before I put my resin and this just helps to avoid any trap bubbles on the sides and the edges of the mold. So for the next one I have mixed up some chunky glitter um, it's this pinky color, um, super cute. And once again, I'm going to try and get these along to the sides of the mold in both the corners. And I know some of it is going to flow over to the edge, which I'm happy with. I've also mixed up some flower petals. And um, again, they're colors of some white, um, tiny bit of yellow and pinks and purple petals. So I'm hoping this one would turn out pretty. For the next one, I'm going for a slightly ocean themed tray. I am filling up the corners with some sand. Um, this is just some coarse sand that I've got and I've added a few shells in there. And I'm just going to fill this mold up with some transparent blue. So next I'm doing another alcohol one. Um, this one is pretty similar to the orange and yellow one that we did, but the colors I'm using are black and um, a couple of shades of blue. 
it's completely the same way as we did the previous alcohol one except i haven't added any um chunks of um, crushed glass in the corners of this one i'm keeping this just alcohol inks and resin and the colors are slightly different i'm using blacks and blues what I'm doing is just some clear resin and some gold leaf keeping it simple I feel like gold leaf and resin is always so classic so that's what we're doing for this one next one I've decided to do a dirty pour and if you've been following me for a while you would know that I love doing dirty pours or exotic pours as they call them so my colors are I have some um, rich gold I have some white I have some transparent white and I have some pearl white and finally I have some clear so now I'm just making my dirty pour cup and once again, there is literally no right or wrong reason. Um, I just love it when you put the colors in and the resin does its own thing and creates these beautiful marbly effects. And that's what I'm going for in this one. what I'm doing is with some silver leaf and some opaque white so I'm gonna try and put the silver leaf in the corners um, and the rest of it I'm just gonna fill with opaque white so again this is gonna be a simple classic one The one I'm doing next is I'm going to use some chameleon powders and brush them onto the mold and then fill up with black. Now because of the shape of this mold this did get pretty messy and it took me quite a while to actually get these powders brushed onto the mold. Um, but yeah I, th I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, I did add some gold leaf to the sides of um, the mold once again just where the candy wrappers are. One eternity later. is all of them done and it's 
finally unmolding time. This is a good time to remind you, make sure you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you get notified every time I post a video on YouTube and um, I, I really appreciate your support. So this is the mica powder one that we just did and that is how it looks. So happy with it. For the sake of this video, I'm going to show you the rest of them unmolded on the screen, all of them together at once because otherwise this video is going to be super long, which I think it already is, but yeah. is all of them so this is the alcohol ink yellows and oranges with some gold this is the oceany one with some shells and sand and i did do some spray paint highlights on this and this one is the simple gold leaf in clear resin um, love how this looks the next one is the white with the silver leaf on the edges and once again I did add some slight silver highlights on the white as well. This is the one with the chameleon powders and the black and gold leaf. Now I did go over the sharp edges of these with a deburring tool. This one is the alcohol inks again but with the blues and blacks and I spray painted the corners blue. This one is the chunky glitter and flower petals. Absolutely love this one. This one is the white and gold dirty pour. And once again, I added some gold highlights in the corners. And finally, I have another simple one. This is just some clear with a tint of glitter and blue edges. Do let me know which one you like best in the comments. I would absolutely love to know which one is your favorite. Honestly, I can't decide which I like better. I mean, I like the pink one with the flowers, but I also like um, the alcohol inks one and I do like the dirty pool. It is pretty confusing. I don't know. I can't decide. Help me decide which one I like better. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.